Hey, what's going on guys? So finally picking up my car today and uh, super excited. I was kind of excited, but at the same time, I'm hoping that everything is fixed perfectly the way it was before I wrecked it. But uh, we'll see. All right, let's go get it. So we're here and the car looks awesome. It's right behind me. So looks like they fixed everything and uh, yeah, let's go check it out. got it back and uh, looks like everything is fixed perfectly the shop was really cool to install the lid for me and also put these back in and keep the grill off the way I want it I mean I'm just super excited to have it back just driving it finally after two weeks doesn't seem like a big like a long stretch of time but you miss it a lot the sounds the way it starts everything you know the way it drives it's just I don't know it's, it feels awesome so I hope I don't get too used to it. I like that feeling, the fresh feeling of like when you first get something that you care about and, and you get excited. I hope I don't lose it too quickly, you know? Because you get too used to things every time. Like human nature is stupid, but so glad that the lip is back on because I got so used to that look. It just looks so so unappealing, I guess, without the lip. And the STI bezels for sure look so much better than the factory base model fog light things. I do have the brand new headlights that they gave me, it's in the trunk, but they put the old one back in, it's broken, like the tabs, so I'm gonna deal with that later, I actually have a set of brand new headlights as well at home. Everything under the hood looks perfect, like the charge pipe was touching the radiator, they fixed all that, they moved the shifted stuff back to where it should be. The fender gaps and stuff look awesome. Um, yeah, so... Yeah guys, super excited to have the car back and continue the project and keep modding it and so far I've changed the shift knob already just now and I had this lathe works one which is like an extended ball or it's called a teardrop, super heavy. Really like the quality and it was like 150 bucks when I ordered it but kind of got tired of it like it's too smooth, too, I guess there's no character to it, you know. It's same weight as this one, it's I believe it's like 700, 800 grams. So maybe a little bit less but what I like about it is the cuts and makes it just more fun to grip and this sits much lower with the Boomba short shifter it's actually a pretty big issue with people when you're shifting in a second your thumb always hits the e-brake but it depends on how you shift let's say you shift like this you grip it like this it's no problem right but if your hand is on top so you go from first to second it'll always hit but if you kind of know the issue you find a way to work around it no big deal and I just like the precision of it you know it's like it's like a rifle they call they always say the same thing like it's like a bolt-action rifle and it's true you know like it feels more mechanical this setup uh, the stock shifter sucks and the STI stock shifter it sucks even worse because it's so notchy and with this setup it's a Boomba plate Boomba short shifter and a shift stopper in the brass bushings stainless steel it doesn't matter it makes a huge difference it makes it uh, feel much more mechanical like the STI transmission is a direct sort of connection to the transmission and there's no none of this there but it feels really really close you know other than the sloppiness here it feels very close so I really like it and it's short it's just I don't know it's just super fun I highly recommend these mods you know the if you just have to get one, get the plate, the Boomba plate. Don't get any other plate, it's not good. 
uh, the rubber plate is really heavy so it makes a huge difference and if you can swing it just get the shifter as well it makes it shorter and just perfect there's a lot of benefits that people don't talk about such as the quietness of the reverse lockout the feel of it it's like it's made by it's made of a much better plastic and I put rubber washers on the inside so it's super quiet like when you you know move it up and down there's no none of that clicky noise anymore it's like I don't know it just feels good but yeah so far I dig it and uh, this what do you call it, drift button that I also got it fits perfectly now with stainless steel so I got a bunch of other parts that I uh, got while I was waiting on the car and it should be pretty exciting one of them is pretty big mud and uh, I'll make a video on that while it's up once I install it and hopefully it's not going to be too difficult to install. Thanks for being supportive by the way and uh, it was really good to read all the good comments you know on the previous video and of course there were a couple douchebags you know douchebag comments by some people but it's no big deal you know I'm, yeah I really appreciate all the kind words you know it's like it means a lot when you know, cra uh, crappy stuff happens you know just so it gives me a lot of motivation to shoot videos and I you know, I didn't have the car for two weeks and made me kind of realize I need to shoot more videos even on trivial stuff small things sometimes I feel like it's not worth the video but why not you know so, so yeah I'll try to make more videos I'll see you guys in the next one